Uh, Philip? Yeah, hey, hey, Andrew. Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you, too. Yeah, glad you could join me. I'm always excited for a new Will Smith flick. Definitely. Is anybody joining you tonight? Yeah, he was just running to the bathroom before the, uh, before the movie got started. You know, didn't want to have to leave in the middle of it. Oh, okay. You said you were bringing someone, too, right? Yeah, they had to go to the bathroom as well. I see you got some popcorn. Are you going to get anything more? I got menus here. They got, you know, tons of... Oh, there he is. Andrew, this is five-year-old me. Oh, okay, no way. I know, a little crazy, but you know, it seemed appropriate for the occasion. No, it's actually perfect. I also brought five-year-old me. Five-year-old me, this is five-year-old Andrew. Yeah, we met in the bathroom. What's up? Cool. Give me a five-year-old buddy. They've conspired. What are you gonna do, Harry Potter? Oh! What is going on, everybody? Welcome to Tavern Talk by Initial Reaction. I'm Philip, and joining me this week. Mr. Andrew Swetman. Hello. Thanks for being here, Andrew. I appreciate Thank it, Thank you man. for having me. Yeah, no, of course, Andrew runs a site called Art House Garage. It is um, kind of a YouTube channel, a blog, um, you know. A lot of different things. Yeah, yeah. Still kind of uh, recently, yes. recently started it and kind of. Figuring out what sticks. Yeah, yeah, no, no. Uh, but no, definitely check out arthousegarage.com. Uh, Andrew has a couple great videos up there, reviews of uh, smaller movies like The Farewell and uh, an awesome review of The Joker. Uh, so definitely check that out. Um, but I'm glad you could join me tonight, Andrew. Yeah, this has been fun already. Actually. Yeah. <laughs> well, good. No, I'm glad you're having a good time because I'm anxious to hear if you had a good time watching <laughs> Gemini Man. Um, this is the new movie from director Ang Lee. Um, you might be familiar with Ang Lee's work uh, if you've seen, uh, I mean, Brokeback Mountain, uh, Life of Pi, uh, was it Billy Lynn's Long Halftime Walk, uh, which kind of segues into Gemini Man here because he uh, experimented with high frame rate, shooting at a higher frame rate than usual. He also does that here, but instead of with a drama, does it more of an action movie. It stars Will Smith, uh, there's Mary Elizabeth Winstead in here, you have Clive Owen, uh, Benedict Wong, uh, a couple other people, but this is really, um, I, I was excited for this because of Ang Lee directing. I'm a big Will Smith fan in general, so I, you know, when he has an original action movie coming out, I'm always intrigued by what it could be. Um, but I'll leave it at that for now. What was your initial reaction to Gemini Man? My initial reaction was uh, not great. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> uh, and I, you know, kind of heard that this is not one of Ang Lee's best movies. So I came in, you know, trying to let's look for the good things here, and there are some good things. Yeah. But uh, all in all, this is not really worth your time. No. Yeah. And even talking about. Uh, you know, the technological like advancements or tricks that Ang Lee is trying out here, um, a lot of it has to deal with the cloning aspect of Will Smith's character. Uh, if you're not familiar with the story or haven't seen the trailers, uh, basically the premise is that uh, Will Smith is this retiring hitman. He just wants to kind of get out of this government role, I think it's DIA. DIA? I think yeah. that's right, yeah. And, um, but he knows a little too much, and so there's this third party, uh, kind of like arms dealer, com arms dealing company, or um, just kind of military. Uh, well, I guess they would. The plot's like, pretty convoluted, honestly. Well, That's why it's hard to explain. Maybe. It, it, it is, <laughs> and it's, I mean, the, the name of this company that Clive Owen runs is named Gemini, and uh, I mean, from what I gather, they provide like. Weapons and train, or and they train like, soldiers for yeah. war and all this kind the of top secret stuff that America's not proud of. Yeah, 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 it's it's a little muddled, but um, but within that, Clive Owen has cloned Will Smith's character, and when Will Smith wants to retire 
and knows too, or like, I don't even know how to explain it. Like he knows too much. They don't want him to retire because he's one of the best in the business or whatever. So they send this, it's they, you know what, as I'm saying this, <laughs> I, I've, I've realized that it's it's they don't really justify yeah. sending young Will Smith after older Will Smith. Yeah, it just kind of happens. <laughs> I think that this movie exists. It was an excuse to try this cloning Absolutely. story. Absolutely, yeah. And so hopefully that really works. Yeah. And it doesn't exactly. Uh, the CGI is, you know, I've seen worse. <laughs> but yeah, it's like not, maybe it, 20 years ago. I yeah, exactly. Like, I would say this is not like 90s level, but it's maybe like 2005 level. Right. Like something like that. Uh, and it, especially like there's a scene at the end in daylight and it just does not hold up to daylight. In the trailer, there's there's a lot of the like the dark shadowy scenes. It's mm -hmm. like, okay, maybe this kind of works. <laughs> but yeah, once you are in the, the light of day, it does not look very good. Yeah, no, I, I know exactly what you're talking about because I even kind of jotted down like those final scenes feel like it was just like Ang Lee would said, oh, we really need a final scene yeah. to just yeah, yeah, tag yeah. on here and the uh, the ending of the movie because it just kind of ends and then there's this scene and it's like okay now it's over yeah and it was just very awkward and yeah. stilted and just uh, it yeah it's like you said it's an excuse to try out this technology um, and obviously there's only a handful of theaters in the US playing um, playing the movie as it was meant to be seen or as Ang Lee meant for audiences to see it in this higher frame rate, and it just it didn't it didn't translate to to you know regular 4K or 2K or whatever you know your local theater is going to play it in. Uh, you know, odds are you're not going to be able to see it in uh, in the higher frame rate. You're just going to be able to see it in you know a more traditional uh, viewing experience. And so, uh, it if that's the kind of excuse for this slim action thriller of a movie. Um, that part's not even going to really be taken advantage of, and so you're just kind of left with this generic action yeah. movie. And yeah. You expect more from, from Ang Lee at this point, I feel like. Yeah, I think so. I mean, it's a pretty good track record. Yeah, right? right? <laughs> so that was, you know, hopeful. We got a good director. We got mostly really good actors. Uh, but yeah, it just doesn't quite come together. One more thing about the CGI. There's the whole idea of the uncanny valley, and if it's too realistic but not perfect, right. then it just is not great, and that's exactly where it lands here. Uh, and I think it's not just the way his face looks. Of course, we're like scrutinizing this, and we all know what young Will Smith looks oh, like. That's a part you know? of it too. Yeah, I was like, say. and I almost wonder too if they older Will Smith, his face seemed a little wider, or maybe he's a little more heavy set. I wondered if that was to try to uh, imitate the younger <laughs> version. I'm not sure what, but I was going to say it's not just the way his face looks, but I think his movement, his body movement, seemed very video game-ish to me yes. in several there's a moment where you the younger even, version yeah yeah oh yeah definitely there's a moment when you couldn't even see uh his face it was like his silhouette mm -hmm. and you didn't even know it was him yet I was like that looks fake <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's just a shadow and i can tell it's not a real person because of the way he's moving like a video game character and even uh his voice mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. you it felt like they um the on the younger version of will smith which they just called junior which is kind of again it just feels awkward and not it feels like they scratched the surface on a lot of this stuff and didn't care to like dive any deeper into it uh, that's both like story-wise character development um, and even the yeah the um, the CGI recreation of of young Will Smith um, yet yeah, you could tell they kind of like took his pitch up a little bit and uh, Will Smith's kind of doing this weird thing with his voice anyway. Yeah. That is just like, well, I don't, you know, I don't know why exactly you're doing this. Um, but yeah, I mean, this comes from the guy. I didn't mention it earlier, but this is the guy who did Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. Like, like, this is, you know, groundbreaking action sequence. Yeah, you know, action. innovative action yeah. stuff. And and then you have these two kind of bigger action sequences here. I think one's in Colombia and the other's in, uh, I can't remember where that second location is. They kind of- The ending one? Yeah, yeah they, they sure. jump from location, some big location to location pretty frequently here, or pretty quickly. And um, even like, I was like, okay, well at least here we'll get really cool action sequences. Yeah. But it's just brought down by that the video game looking effect. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree. I think the first one's probably the best, but it's not great. It, You're talking about the, the motorcycle? Yeah, it's okay. like it's in yeah. the, it is in the daylight. So yes. There's that. But yeah, the motorcycle sequence, there's a few pretty cool shots there. But yeah, it's it, mediocre action at best, I think. 
Uh, there's also a scene where they're hand-to-hand -hand combat in the catacombs. That, yeah. And uh, it just reminded me of, you know, in the Transformers movies, which are also not my favorite movies. <laughs> it's just like mindless metal smashing against each other. It was that, but humans, because they yeah. look the same. Like, I don't know who's who. They're wearing the same clothes almost. Uh, it was just, it's like, a, my mind checked out because I couldn't understand what was going on. That's kind of how unengaging the movie was to me overall. Like, I was so unengaged in the premise that I forgot, or that I would question, like, why Will Smith was one place in one shot, and then in the next shot he was somewhere else. Like, oh yeah, it's two different characters. Yeah. I forgot, but it's like, you know, they look so much alike yeah. that I was like, wait, what's happening? Like, how did he get there? Because I was just so disengaged in everything that was going on because it did feel, it just felt so generic. And like, yeah. they were just trying out to see what they could do with this technology. and. Uh, that really is disappointing, not only on, not only because it's a new Ang Lee movie and you know he's trying to be innovative and you know he's trying to do new things um, and just to see it not work like this, kind of second time in a row because I don't know if you saw Billy Lynn's it's not. Uh, yeah, it's not, it's not great. <laughs> it's not great and he was trying to do something there too yeah. and it just didn't, it didn't work out as, as, as much as, or as well as he'd hoped, as well as he'd hoped. Uh, but, I don't know. <sighs> There, I feel like there's like a lot to talk about here, but not a whole lot to yeah, talk about. I, I, I was going to mention just some of the themes like they try to kind of bring in. Uh, I'm glad of, you brought that up because I don't even know what they were. <laughs> well, like, there's like what was this, kind of this here. daddy issues thing they okay. kind of set up with. Uh, this is mild, mildly spoilery. I okay, guess. spoiler alert. But uh, the Clive Owen father figure to Junior, uh, and then they almost weirdly set up that, especially at the very last scene that. Old Will Smith is his sort of his father figure, yeah. um, but it's just so halfway done that it doesn't. It doesn't like. There's a. There's kind of an interesting movie to be made with this premise. That yeah, it wasn't a mindless action movie. Maybe I'm not a huge action guy. Any like I like action movies fine, but uh, if this was I don't know a much more thoughtful just drama, this could maybe work. Yeah, and kind of explore some of those themes. There, there's about three scenes where they kind of talk about. Uh, Try, try to bring emotion into it, and it's just tacked on to a mediocre action movie, so none of it really is good. Yeah, you can so. tell, I mean, it's, and speaking of, like, the performers, uh, uh, you can tell they're trying. Like, Will Smith yeah. is trying in those scenes. Bad, really. Right, no, yeah. I, I don't think so either. And, and like like I said, I've, I'll watch Will Smith in whatever. Like, I, I've been a big fan of his for as long as I can remember. And you can tell he's trying in those scenes you're talking about. Those are where they really try to bring the emotion out of, um, like, what is a really complex situation, yeah. honestly. And, uh, but it's just, there's yeah. Some, there's some really hammy dialogue with it, too. Like, yeah. You're not me, old man. <laughs> I'm me. Like, and I'm yeah, really and the dialogue coming out of the younger version of Will Smith feels so. Almost as fake as the, the, the <laughs> CGI looks, creation. His emotions does. are as fake as his face. <laughs> right, uh, which just boggles my mind. Like I know they're trying to be innovative with this technology, but you know what was it? Ten years ago in Social Network, they did that the face yeah. replacement and Nobody it looks even flawless, it. Yeah. right? And then ten years later, the whole point of this experiment of a movie is to be you know technologically advan as advanced as mm -hmm. possible, and it looks kind of terrible in a lot of spots more terrible than than great and it's just it just kind of baffles my mind why uh how this even got past a certain yeah. point i don't know um but yeah and and even like what you were saying about the action movie like uh this could have been a, a big fun action movie like yeah. i i can appreciate an action movie without uh depth or without you know big themes to it or anything as long as it's just fun and the characters are interesting and I have fun going on the adventure with the characters and with this I just kind of checked out so much that it was I just wasn't invested in yeah. anything going on. Actually I've been watching through the Fast and Furious movies for the mm -hmm. first time and okay. enjoying that quite a bit. Yeah. They're big and ridiculous but and they have this movie had maybe some similar like trying to be that level of action set piece a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, but this movie takes itself so seriously that it, it was is, like, yes. it just didn't work. Yeah. Right, no, I, yeah, I, I completely agree. It just, it, especially by the time we got to those final scenes we were talking about earlier, it's just so much of a mess of a movie. Yeah, the, it's, last, it's, the final scene is, 
cringy. It's, <laughs> it's, really, really it's so cringy. bad. And it's, yeah, it's, there's so many talented people involved. It's, it's hard to imagine how this turned out as bad as it did. And I hate to even, uh, you know, kind of just dog a movie this much. I know, me too. You can tell, like, a lot of, no matter what kind of production it is or movie it is, a lot of hard work goes into it and a lot of talented people's time goes into it. And so you know, and, and you know they're not trying to make a bad movie. Like this yeah. is this is Ang Lee, and he he's very good at what he's done. He's proven that time and time again in the past. Uh, but for one reason or another, it's just his vision is not melding with whatever whatever Lee is is trying to do. Like whatever his vision is for for this for both his last movie and this movie, whatever his vision is in his mind, it's just not translating to the screen as as well as he would like it to. Yeah, I think that's probably true. Uh, I do feel like I'm being a little too negative. There are some good things here. Like, I think all the performances are, are solid to above solid, mm -hmm. given the material. I think yeah. probably the, the biggest issue is the script at this point. Definitely. But yeah, Will Smith, if you love Will Smith, you'll probably enjoy some of this. Uh, if you really like Mary Elizabeth Winstead, which I do, she's in this a lot. This is like a good, a good starring, semi-starring role for her. Yeah, which is nice. And I feel like she hasn't been in anything in yeah. in a while for some reason. I don't know. Yeah. Cloverfield Lane, she's great in that. That's, yeah, that's and true. then I just love Scott Pilgrim so much. Yeah. So I just I, I like her a lot. Yeah, no, true. Sky High. I don't know if you ever saw. I Scott do like, I like Scott High. High is great. It's better than I expected. <laughs> yeah. For sure. Yeah. Anyway, sorry to interrupt. Uh, no, yeah. that's that's basically it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I did want to point out. Speaking of. Uh, rough script so this is the top secret organization project gemini mm -hmm. that does all the secret things that no one they torture people and stuff america doesn't want to talk about right but uh they have the worst code name in history because oh secretly gemini is a cloning organization <laughs> terrible right <laughs> and what uh that i was going to touch on the the screenwriters but what did you think of I, again, we're kind of in, I guess, as much spoiler territory as you can get in with this movie. But, um, so Clive Owen's big evil plan is to have, uh, to have these clones, build an army with these clones, basically. Yeah. And uh, use them instead of soldiers so that families don't lose children, so, uh, soldiers yeah. don't come back from war with PTSD. Yeah. Um, you know, we were speaking a little bit to the themes earlier, like, it's not a totally, like, dishonorable idea yeah, or a terrible idea, yeah. but it's, uh, but they make him out to be this absolutely terrible person. Um, I mean, obviously, the ethics of all of it with right. cloning people and yeah. sending them to war yeah. for sacrifices is a uh, muggy at best. But, but we at least get his motivations. I kind of wish we would have gotten them a little earlier in the movie. Yeah, It's like that's... right at the end, like, oh, okay, now I kind of understand. Right. Like, I don't know. I, I when I think about like understanding a villain's motivations in recent years, I always think about Thanos and like they give him so much time in the Avengers movies yeah. to like figure out why is he doing what he's doing, and that's the only reason that worked. And uh, we, he was just almost. I think of all the poorly written parts here, he might be the worst one uh, yeah. because uh, all his scenes leading up to that ending, they're they're just pretty rough to watch. Right? Yeah. No. Well, you think about a villain, and you just uh, you want. To, the, or the best way to make a, a villain, a good villain is to show one who's, you know, convinced that they're right. Yeah. And feel like they're doing this for, for the sake of good and not just pure evil. And they're not just, you know, bad for the sake of being bad. But, uh, and, and he has that, like, yeah. he they has sort of that there. It on it's it's the there, end. like, you could have, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You could have fleshed that out and it would have been like, oh, well, I'm torn, you know, where, you know, it's not, it's not so black and white, but, uh, Gemini Man's pretty black and white, and uh, so, I don't know, I don't know if there's a whole lot more to say about it, uh, you know, like I said, I hate to, to come down so hard on a movie when it's clearly trying to do so much and be innovative, just by virtue of its existence at all, but, um, but the execution of, of everything that's going in here just didn't, just didn't really work for me, and, uh, yeah, I don't know. Did you have anything else you wanted to highlight, touch on? Yeah, I just feel like in like five years, this will be on in the background on TNT, and you'll catch <laughs> a few scenes and be like, oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah. And that's like, that's that's the best that this movie can that's, offer. <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> uh, that sounds completely accurate. <laughs> but no, so here on Tavern Talk, we do out of five stars. 
so if you were to give an initial reaction rating to Gemini Man, what would you would you go star rating wise? Can we do halves? Yes, halves absolutely. I, I'll go one and a half. Oh yeah, which is feels a little high, but there are some good performances. <laughs> I you were say no, <laughs> no, honestly, like I. If I'm talking to anyone that I know about, like which movie this weekend should you spend your money on? Right. I, I just can't. Like, go see something from last week. Go see Joker again. Like, I can't in good conscience recommend this. Yeah. No, I, I agree. I was actually gonna. I. It's hard for me to be, you know, that low. I. I was actually gonna go two, um, because uh, you know I do like uh, Will Smith a lot, and the Will Smith performance there is. Uh, you know, he's trying, and I appreciate that. And you get a couple of the Will Smith-isms, you know, that are just like, oh, there's there's a little bit of something yeah, there. Yeah, kind of iRobot version of Will Smith. Yeah, like yeah, that level. definitely. Which is enjoyable. Yeah, yeah. And, and like you said, Benedict Wong, Mary Elizabeth Winstead, uh, both both fine. Some of the action scenes are worth seeing on the big screen alone, but they're just marred by such bad CGI that it's it's, I couldn't say... I barely say, you know, matinee. Maybe go see it on like Discount Tuesday or something like that, uh, and you might not be as depressed. You spent money on it, but uh, you know, uh, sorry, I hate, I, fe I hate yeah. feeling like that about a movie, especially when I was really looking forward to because of the players involved. And uh, I don't know, yeah. Even um, saying all that, it's, Jim and I man's pretty disappointing, but. Uh, Will not be in my top ten. <laughs> no, no, but um, yeah, you know, so, sorry, sorry if, if you were looking forward to it, but uh, thank you, Andrew, for being of here. Course. I appreciate thank you. you so uh, for having me. I'm sorry it a wasn't a time. better a better movie, but no, and that's a good the thing too about great. like going to the movies. Like, I want to enjoy myself, even if the movie's terrible. Yeah, I think yeah. That, and so if that's you, you can go see this and have it. Yeah, no, and there are plenty of movies to see this fall. A lot of good stuff coming out, and if you have a movie tavern theater near you, definitely check out a movie with that experience. It's, it's really cool, uh, unique experience. You can come in, uh, sit in these comfortable recliners. Uh, an attentive waiter will come up and take your order. Uh, they have a full bar. Uh, you can get regular popcorn, candy, Coke, all that kind of stuff. Or if you're, you know, ready for more of a full, hearty meal, you can get, you know, all kinds of different stuff. It's a full menu. Um, and then you get to, you know, recline and watch what is hopefully a good movie if, you know, maybe something other than Gemini Man. But uh, no, thank you to Movie Tavern for letting us do this every week. Um, thank you for watching and supporting Tavern Talk by Initial Reaction. Um, certainly subscribe and like and hit the little bell for the notifications. We try to put out a new video every week of the biggest release. Um, so definitely hit up all that as up on the uh, social media channels. We're out there, Tavern Talk by Initial Reaction. Uh, but yeah, that's it for this week. We appreciate you. Appreciate you again, Andrew. Thanks for, for stopping by. Um, and definitely, once again, arthousegarage.com. Check that out. Andrew's updating it all the time. Follow him on Instagram. Uh, Tavern Talk's got a lot to learn from him on the Instagram <laughs> stories. So, uh, uh, but definitely check out arthouse, arthousegarage.com, correct? Correct. All right. Check that out. Thank you once again for watching Tavern Talk by Initial Reaction. We will see you next week.